Karen Asawa developed an interest in drone technology at Uganda Flying Labs, a Kampala-based drone mapping and data hub. As a student at Malawi, she just opened the African Drone and Data Academy. She gets to learn how to build one. Right now, we are learning how to assemble a drone right from the start, considering its weight, considering the center of gravity, considering the GPS and all the electronics that is involved in making the drone. Asawa is one of the 26 students from across Africa in the first three-month course at the academy learning to build and pilot drones. The United Nations Children's Fund is backing the program, which this year is expected to train 150 students. UNICEF says the academy and the launch of Africa's first drone corridor in Malawi in 2016 will promote drones for development and humanitarian use. For example, transporting supplies, medical supplies to remote areas or transporting samples very fast, you know, where unless it would take a lot of time to transport them. We have worked also on emergency preparedness and response because with data and with drone imagery, you can see where flooding will happen. The drone course was developed with the Virginia Polytechnic Institute and the State University, better known as Virginia Tech. We go through three modules in this program. They learn drone logistics, uh, drone technologies. So they become very uh, functional with drone, not only being pilots, but they can operate and maintain the drones as well. The Drone Academy has inspired some students to reach for the stars. I have a vision that I can start um, the first Malawian uh, space agency here in Malawi, which we can be raising uh, geoinformation data for different applications. For example, here in Malawi, we are so su susceptible to flood as a geohazardous anomaly. The African Drone and Data Academy's first graduates are expected in March. The Academy plans to partner with Malawi University of Science and Technology for a free master's degree program in drone technology by 2022. Lamek Masina for VOA News, Lilongwe.